Now that we've created an equation that shows us the level of real GDP that puts this model into macroeconomic equilibrium, we can explore three distinct parts of this that are very important going forward when we talk about macroeconomic policy and when we talk about how the business cycle goes up and down and what maybe the Federal Reserve or the federal government can do to influence it. So again, there's going to be three parts. The first one we're going to talk about we've already introduced, which is this right here. Notice this is C bar, I bar, G bar, and X bar, which is our autonomous spending, which we denoted as A sub zero, or A naught, is how you might hear it pronounced. This is important because we can think of when there's a shock or a change to the economy, sometimes these things will increase or decrease. Or perhaps the government directly changes government purchases. Or the Federal Reserve changes interest rates, which we know will impact consumption and investment. So it's important that this is inside of this overall GDP macroeconomic equilibrium equation. But if one of these goes up, GDP is going to go up by more because there's a multiplication of 1 over 1 minus MPC. That is our next very important part of this equation. In fact, we're going to have an entire section in this lesson that talks just about this right here. This is going to be called the spending multiplier. Notice I'm underlying multiplier because it's multiplied by any change in that autonomous spending. You might also see this called the autonomous spending multiplier. But a lot of times you'll just see it as the spending multiplier. So this 1 over 1 minus MPC is that autonomous spending multiplier. So as we'll talk about later on, is that if any part of autonomous spending changes, GDP will change by that amount multiplied by whatever this number ends up being. Lastly, we're going to care about this right here. This is connected to our taxes. So this is going to be our tax multiplier. Again, underlying this idea that it is a multiplier, because if taxes change, then GDP is going to change by a negative MPC over 1 minus MPC. So we have three different distinct parts of this equation, this represents the level of real GDP that puts this whole model into macroeconomic equilibrium, where GDP equals aggregate expenditure. We have autonomous spending, we have the spending multiplier, and we have the tax multiplier. All this stuff is going to help us really explore the macroeconomy as a whole and policy as a whole as we move forward through this course.